Hey, hey, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to model this shoe. So, this is a crow shoe tutorial. And as you can see here, this is one I prepared earlier. And I'm going to use freestyle tool to, to very easily create the outer shape of the shoe. And if I have time, I'll create this. Show you how to quickly create these cuts as well. And let's get started. So uh, this, okay. So let's go make a, an assembly. And uh, I think this should be part three in the tutorial where we have created a shrink wrap, a base model already. But uh, I'm gonna start by bringing in the shrink wrap model, and I'll place it here, and put on default so it sits within the same two coordinate system and you can see here there's two coordinate system there so it sits on the origin point so this is the shrink wrap model that i've covered how to create in another in another video so uh, i think i'll create a series of tutorial for the shoe modeling and you can go through the step by step so all right so in in assembly view we place one one of the part the shrink wrap part we're going to create a new part to create our freestyle so i'll just go new and create a new part in assembly and load in your unit template and this one as well i'm going to click to place and switch to default so it sits on the origin point as well all right so uh, let's go ahead creating the shell so we have to create a new part here to work with that we need to activate and now we're in the part modeling mode within this assembly so let's open freestyle all right so freestyle is very, very good to create this shoe model and you can do that pretty quickly and i'll start with creating a surface and when you click that it'll place a surface in the bottom so drag the handle to move rotate it up and just move it in place so place it here middle button to spin around and let's drag this here all right so it's good to go to the top view and see where to place it all right so when you do this thing it's a good idea to think about the network of curves um, the, when you model your shoe, the the network of curves or the network ISO curves, they need to be distributed evenly, and it creates a nice flow within the surface. So, it needs to have this sort of vertical and horizontal lines. You don't want that line to be zigzag going going everywhere. It needs to be distributed um, evenly to create a nice nice model all right so um so let's think about that so you go to the top view we can sort of distribute these these um, edges around so you can right click click extrude and start to go around so if it's a sharp turn you might want to put more more um, points between them and just uh, quite a basic extrusion around so let's keep going extrude this part goes in so bring it in this part goes in a lot so maybe I need to bring this up a bit more and it's all just about practice the the more practice you have the more the better quality model you create and it's a good idea to just relax in it just don't think too hard just um just let your just let the your mouse your hand create the shape just so yeah it's just all about relax and just let let's do whatever keep calm and uh, and just let 
let the yep yep your head sort of just create it without thinking so no don't think too much about it all right so to close that off we select both the edges i'll do that again control undo that how control select both the edge right click click on this thing it's called connect i think and then it joins together and after that you would just need to go ahead and modify that okay so this part needs to be raised a bit so we'll bring that up about there the back as well and I'll raise Yep, so it's good to tweak it, take your time to tweak the model, play around and it will look really nice the more effort you put in. That looks fine, I'll go ahead and actually with this bit, I'll bring this point in a little bit. Alright, something like that. Alright, so a neat trick to do is to select the whole loop of curvy, whole sh click on one hold shift and click on that same edge it will select the whole edge and with that I can right click extrude create a, a, a num extrude of all the edges and let's do one up and let's drag this down Okay, so there you go, and so to bring these in as well. All right, something like that. Um, I'm just gonna do it quickly. For your model, you might want to spend more time to carefully place these things. All right, now let's do not extrude. So. All right, so let's bring that up. All right, so um, I'm planning to have three spans. Okay, so let's bring this down. So it's mainly flat at the front. And then from there, we Bring that down and use that gap for the lace area. All right, now it's all a matter of just going, tweaking the curves, the point. Work through, go through each of the vertical points and modify them, make them fit. Bring them in. and make a match the shape and you might want to have a look at a real shoe as well see how the form is created all right so uh, i'm just going to move on i'll quickly show you some other things and not waste too much time here uh, okay let's bring these up all right so this point we can bring it up this here you can bring it down this here you can bring it in and okay all right i'm going to cover the next important point Alright, so uh, with the bottom here, you can hold shift, select the same edge, and you can do another extrude. Then we can scale this in, right click to switch to scale, and scale. So this bottom area will sort of um, blend in, or what do you call that? It sort of scoops in and you'll actually go to moves so move and scale when you use that a lot you can switch it with right click so let's bring in something like that 
All right, so um, yep. So that's just a quick mock-up model. We can do that ca more carefully. But uh, I'm gonna hide the the shrink wrap model, and I'm gonna show you some interesting techniques. So just go edit that freestyle again, or if you finish work working with that. Okay, so after you might also want to have a look at a, a real shoe, see how the form is and and um, it's like life painting. You look at a realistic object. You make you create a realistic painting. All right, I'll show you another point to technique. So this point is sharp at the top. You got multi level. If you switch to level two, there's a range of control points, and you can modify that to make that to match the shape more. So multi level is actually pretty good to to let you to to do that and you can check the flow make sure the points flow well drag the fan to move them that way all right so here I'll make a point here as well and you can switch to level one and then you can modify that when you modify that the change is, is maintained you can switch between the levels easily and you can go back to the base level all right so uh, you spend more time you can make a better model but uh, i'm gonna do it really quick so all right after that you can make that a solid you select the whole thing you go to thicken and you can give it a thicken because um, the synthetic material it's, it's thickened material as well so I'll put free and you can create a a, uh, a solid geometry and you can see that and what's really useful about solid when you have a solid geometry you can cut it easy so to create those cut pan on your model you can just switch to can just do a basic extrude to do cut on here so I'll just draw a sort of uh, design you might want to have a simple design uh, I'll, I'll just have a sort of a triangle here okay so let's go arc place arc there and do one more arc and then you can add around here. So where is fill it? Yep. So there you go. So once you have that, you can extrude that out to a cut. And with the cut, you can add add a round to it, and it looks really nice. So so I create that cut there. So you don't you don't need to work with surfacing too much. You can just work with by simple solids. So I'll put a point five round on the edge here. And what's more is I can also with that freestyle I can go to that. Um, let me see. You might need to open the model to work with that. So I'll open the model up in here and I can drag this insert back to roll back in time and I can copy this surface and then bring back to the current level and click on paste can I paste that no so I might be just make a copy and paste from here copy paste and okay so you need to place the coordinate system Let's click on that click OK Oh, yep, that seems to work fine, and we will roll it back to the current time. Um, actually, I, instead of doing the copy, I might need to do an offset, so that'll be better. So I'll go delete this away and select that surface and do a offset. Right, it's not letting you select, you just select the surface one more time and you can offset. And I'll do a uh, maybe one mil offset and click apply. 
let's roll it back and you can see now it has um, if you add color to it it will sort of fake fake the So switch to surface apply red there and yes it creates a, a nice sort of indent cut for you but uh, that's the tutorial so if you spend more time on that putting a lot of effort you can create a nice model And here's the one I prepared earlier. I create this sharp point by switching to multi level. I create the sweeps on the bottom here as well by switching to multi level. So that's the tutorial. Let me know what you think. Have a great day. See you later.